of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. My dear sisters and brothers, in the first reading, we have a little more about St. Stephen, and I would only recommend that you read the texts, chapter 6 and chapter 7 of the Acts of the Apostles. You'll be able to understand it a little better. Because tomorrow we're not going to read the whole of the seventh chapter. It's just going to be the beginning and the end. So I would recommend that you read that. What I'm going to concentrate today is on the second reading, the gospel reading. It is all the sixth chapter of St. John's Gospel. You will see that in John's Gospel, the Eucharistic text as we have it in the synoptics, where Jesus took the bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, you will not find it in St. John. Not because he doesn't want it, but he wants you to connect it very well. And therefore, in this sixth chapter already, after the multiplication of the loaves, the whole of which is going to be about, I am the bread of life. Therefore, I would recommend you read the sixth chapter before coming even to come to church. You'll find it something or the other, um, whoever the priest is will break the word of God and make you understand. Today's reading, they have come to the other side. They have seen Jesus has not gotten into the boat. Then he said, How, when did you come? Actually, he was walking on the waters at that at the time. We didn't read it. But then he was that time. So they are asking him. So he doesn't want to be bothered about those things. He says, don't worry about that. Don't come to me because I'm a miracle worker. You may think about it. See, I worked this. You ate the bread. You, that's why you were satisfied. Seek the things which are above. In other words, that are eternal. Now, what is this eternal life? What should we do? He said, believe in the one whom God has sent. Meaning, believe in me. Now you may say, how more, much more have I got, to, I got to believe in you? Read my word. Therefore, in other words, the word of the Lord which we have in the scriptures, read it. Read it, meditate upon it, and you'll understand the connection with the Old Testament. Remember this. When you really want to know the word of God, you don't have to do big things. Ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten you. Let me understand the word of God in my life. You may require some help, and when there is help available to some priest or somebody, if they're having scripture classes or anything, come for that. But otherwise, you yourself, when you want to read the word of God, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. That should be your attitude. You ask, come Spirit, guide me and enlighten me what to do by reading the scriptures. Take hymn number 